Hi everyone, I'm Vance and I'm joined here today with Amelia Axert and together we're working with the Amber Engine team to deliver a great new product called Amber AI. Amber AI is designed to help Amazon retailers that are working with Amber Engine to improve their product information so they can really deliver more sales on Amazon. So this is a test drive. The challenge for businesses that we're seeing is how to translate the data and understand the use for it in your business. And that's what we're trying to do with this project. This could be done manually if you had, you know, thousands of hours to spend on it, but we're doing it for you, so you don't need to do that. that I mean, that's the power of Amber AI, wow. With these three fantastic brands that we're going to take on this test drive, we want to know what they think works, what we need to get in there in the future to make it even more powerful and useful to them. Absolutely, but let's get into it. So this is a screen that um, is still being developed and this is basically your, your, your homepage or your dashboard. We're gonna give you an oversight of everything that you've got in um, Amber Engine that's come into Amber AI that Amber AI is looking at. And we're gonna you know, break it down by those categories. Now we're into the your insights part. This is where you're gonna see a bit of a summary at the top here. And this is where you're gonna like, you know, start doing your work and finding out what you need to update, what you need to change to improve your scores. We give you um, some information around what your overall average score is. We then break it down by those scores and then we'll give you some, some stats as well. And this summary is just easily accessible on the top of the page all the time when you're in your insights area. And this is all driven around Amazon only. Yes. That's correct. The first cab off the rank, if you like, is Amazon, but we will be looking at doing the other platforms after this pilot. So let's jump into one of them and see, you know, see how it all works here. So I'm just going to, you know, choose the the um, bar stool here, and it's, you know, it's got a 2.0, so that means there is probably quite a lot of room to improve on that and um, drive drive better results. All we have to do is click view. So we've got here um, some information for you on the, what the top 100 uh, are doing, and you can see they've got um, words in there like wood and metal. So that's suggesting that you know there's opportunity if you were using those words in your in your title here, your item name, uh, that that would improve your score. And you can see here too, it's reactive as well. To you know, I put these titles in; it recognizes it right away that we've now used two of them. Of course, the human element's really important here. You know, you guys are the best to judge whether you should be using the word counter in here. So I've added in bistro there now. So we've used one of those energizing concepts. We also identified that your title is probably a little bit too short. All right, so I've made some changes to this. So, you know, obviously the next thing we want to see is how is this going to affect our score? Are we going to do better? Those changes have made quite a big difference in your score. You can see your original here, and we could go back to that and just use that by hitting use. And then you can see the new current version here, which is your highest score one. Um, and so, you know, we want to save and resolve it because this is our final one. Pretty much as awesome as it's gonna get, really. So you can see now, um, you know, we've got some other insights on this that we can improve. Now, um, like we said, this is still in development, so each one of these you want to improve the score on. There's still some work to do in the images because we've got some red dots here and some stuff on the product description that we can improve and those bullet features as well. Um, jump into any one of these and it breaks it down into each of these. You can remove some of these if you want to get rid of them and you know, maybe you need more, maybe you need less. Sometimes you actually want to look at the overall product listing as well. And so we provide an ability for you to do that too. Up here at the top, you'll see what your recent products are. And then we bring it up here, as you can see, all the fields that you would typically see, all the different pieces are here. So before we were looking at all those tasks individually, uh, this is a way for you to also then look at it as a whole. All you need to do is roll over your insights. Would it be displaying fields that you might, the pen might not have, but you need? From our point of view, there's no problem with us having, you know, additional fields in these templates because each of these listing templates here should reflect as close to possible as what it really, you know, you'd see on Amazon. So yeah, that's definitely an important one that we should be, but be it, make sure it's dynamic. So obviously if the fields for a seating piece is different than a lighting fixture than it is. That's right. Way we go. That easy. Like anything, we want to iterate on the product and improve it over time. There's a lot of data there. We have to surface what matters. You can see into the unstructured data and say, what is it telling me? All right. Well, thanks very much, Emil. I'm really glad you could join me for this recap on what we're doing with um, Amber Engine and Junction AI. We're helping the Amber Engine users understand best practice so they can employ it in the fastest and easiest way in their businesses to make a difference.